ain't worried about anything that you're trying to bring I'm a Leo, I'm a lion, you should just call me king Looking for the fame, gotta get the cash first Then I'm going pop with the stars like I'm fireworks What's up? We're back for another reaction video I'm Phil, this is... Sam Also known as Samantha um, We are reacting to another Eminem video um, this one is going to be Lucky You. I'm now featuring Joyner Lucas. Um, we've both heard this song before. It's not our first time reacting to it. Uh, first listen. However, it's the first kind of breakdown of what it's all about with the song, with the bars, with, you know, the flow. Really detailed listening. Um, but probably more so for Sam than, yeah. than me. So, like... She's heard the song before. I like to listen, but just like bop around and listen, not like listen, listen, you know? <laughs> I feel so, like it's still listen, listen. So we're going to break down some of the bars. We're going to, you know, we're going to test Samantha a little bit, see if she can she can catch the bars. No, uh, even myself, like Eminem drops like, you know, crazy amount of bars. You cannot catch everything that Eminem says. So for Especially me. Especially not in one listen. No. So for me, even I know I'd be. Like, trying to catch some bars here. If we miss bars, you guys can let us know in the comments. If you guys want us to react to a certain video, please let us know in the comments or DM or whatever. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is off of uh, the Kamikaze album. Yes. Um, what, 2019? I'm not sure the exact... Yeah, I think it was probably just before the pandemic started. Yeah, that's what I think. Um, because we've had music to be murdered by since then both sides and just release curtain call so yeah i think this was the one before that anyways enough of the chit chat let's, get, let's get into a little bit of music music is our huge passion alongside fitness yeah both of us love fitness training as well so uh, be on the lookout for any kind of fitness content too because we love helping people hit their goals with that all right Let's get some Eminem. Yeah, I done did a lot of things in my day. I admit it, I don't take back what I say. If I said it, then I meant it. All my life I won a Grammy, but I probably never get it. I ain't never had no trophy or no motherfucking ribbon. Fuck the system, I'm that nigga. Been a law, cut the rules. I'm about to risk it all. I ain't got too much to lose. Y'all been eating long enough. It's my turn to cut the food. Pass the plate with my drink. This my day. Lucky you. Fuck you too. Woo! All right, so he's hungry. He's hungry. <laughs> exactly. The intro. He's he's saying it's my turn. You know, lucky all you guys, but it's my turn, right? And I'm um, like you said, perfect analysis there. Uh, uh, he's hungry. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, so we we run that back a little bit. So, I like I I feel like I'm actually buzzing this time. Straight out the kitchen, I told them the oven is mine. So like. He's like when the oven buzzes. Yeah. When it's done. Yeah. Right. Um, and now he's saying like that's my shit. Yeah, it's, it's buzzing now. It's buzzing right now. For me, yeah, because it's my time. Yeah, I'm gonna just turn that up a bit. I don't care, you just know you go tough at this time. I ain't no gangster, but I got some bangers, some chains, and some blades, and a couple of lines. Choppers and jimmies, a partridge and pantry, my twenties and Christmas was nothing but lies. I, I like that too. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So Little, uh, he said. I know I ain't no gangster, but I got some bangers, some chains, and some blades, and a couple of knives, choppers, and jammies, a pat, a, a partridge, pa partridge, a pear tree, a pear tree. <laughs> with my, my twelve, 12 days, days of with Christmas, Christmas though, was nothing but lies. I have a lot of twelve days of Christmas <laughs> <laughs> reference there. <laughs> Never 
So I think like that was a pretty tight verse by um, Joiner there. I think that like I like that he like picked up the pace a little bit there towards the end, just you know, a little bit more tense. Yeah, I think his delivery, his cadence, his flow, his compound rhyme scheme, all of that stuff was on point. I think yeah, the verse. Honestly, like I, I, when I first listened to this song, I remember hearing the verse and I was just like, "Holy shit!" Like this guy's like, going where off. Where this guy come from? Man? Yeah, and I think, like I said, like the way the cadence, the rhythm that he flows with in the bars and everything was tight. Um, I, I would say line uh, snakes in the grass and his lawnmower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a classic line: snakes in the yeah. grass. I got the lawnmower. Like you know, got to keep your your grass cut to watch for the snakes. Um, you know, snakes, snitches, that's basically what they're talking about. But I think, like, with the song in general, there wasn't a lot of, like, bars that you had to deep dive into with that. Yeah, yeah. It was all pretty straightforward. It was... I mean, that said, we probably might have missed something. And, like, it's one of the one of the things about this song, too, is, like, it goes right into it. You know what I mean? Like, he goes in and he just starts hitting the bars, like, right away with yeah, the rhythm. Yeah, there's the not flow. too it's much like, of, like, an intro or anything. Yeah, it's a very yeah. quick pace, like... Just hit it and go. And, um, you know, they, they've got the hook in there. But it's just, like, it's just hitting you with everything over and over and over again. So, I think, like, for a second there, I'm, like, trying to think of, wow, like, he's got the cadence going and everything else. But So, we might have missed some bars. Anyways. So, now we got M. Yep. This is probably going to, like, make our brain hurt. <laughs> see. Just a little bit. But, um... Every time we do like a video or something, I'm always impressed by her. She always picks up stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. So we'll see. We'll see. Don't jinx me now. Nope. No, no pressure. I think this is payback in a way. I regret it that I did it. I don't want a couple Grammys, but I sold my soul to get them. Wasn't in it for the trophies, just the fucking recognition. Fuck's a difference. I'm that cracker. Been the law. Fuck the rules. Man, I used to risk it all. Now I got too much to lose. I've been eating long enough. So, like, you talked about in the verse when Joyner was going in, saying he's hungry. Yeah. Right? And Eminem's here basically Another saying... Another reference. <laughs> well, he's basically saying the same thing. Yeah. Right? And that's what's cool about the song, I guess, is that they're both on the same wavelength with their, with their verses when they start off the verse, right? I think this is something that people probably overlook in the song in general, is that when they started, both of them are talking about being hungry, right? Like, obviously, there's a track component of what it's supposed to represent, but, like, they both start each verse talking by saying, that. like, yeah. Eminem, Joyner saying, I'm hungry, that's my time. Like, I need to, you know, get, it's, it's, me, it's time for me to blow up in the industry. Yeah. Eminem's be, saying, like, No, I'm, st I'm still here, and I'm, I'm still, still hungry. I'm still, I'm here, I've been here, and I'm still eating. I'm supposed to be full, because I've already eaten so much. Yeah, but I'm still going. But I'm just going to make sure that I keep eating, because I'm still hungry. I was at the buffet, it doesn't matter. I've eaten everything, I'm still hungry. Yeah. That's Eminem. He's, you know, 50 years old and still killing it. Yeah, and I think the reference there of, you know, man, I used to risk it all, now I got too much to lose. Like, he used to do a lot of dumb shit, right? Like, beating people up in parking lots. <laughs> yeah. And now he's not doing that anymore because he knows how much he has to lose, yeah. right? He's smartened up a little bit. Yeah, so I've been eating long enough, man. My stomach should be full. I just ate, like, the plate, my buffet, f lucky me, fuck you thing. And so he's... <laughs> he's saying, like, what the fuck do you expect? Like, but, of course this is what I'm going to But he's like. also, I think, saying, like, I just ate, like, the plate, my, my buffet. Lucky me. Like, I just ate lucky me. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be okay. Like, I'm supposed to be satisfied. Yeah. But I'm not. Unless he's saying, fuck you think. Like, I'm going to be satisfied? No. Like, we're just getting started, basically. <laughs> yeah. And we're about to find out if we're getting started. <laughs> They're asking me what the fuck happened to hip hop. I said I don't have any answers. Cause I took a nap when I dropped my last album. It hurt me like hell when I'm back on these rappers. And actually coming from humble beginnings, I'm somewhat uncomfortable winning. I wish I could say what a wonderful feeling. We're on the upswing like we're punching the ceiling. But nothing is feeling like anyone has any fun. Okay, so a couple of things in there. Um, he's obviously talking about the same stuff that we just talked about. Uh, you know, going back a little bit further. Uh, so, oops. So. He's basically saying that in his last album, he took an L because people were criticizing it. Um, 
he obviously represents hip hop in a lot of ways for a lot of people, yeah. and so they're saying like you fall, off, you fell off, right? And for him, that hurt because he feels like he. That's the one thing I love about Eminem is that he takes the craft so seriously. Yeah, it's not about the money for him. It's literally about being an MC no, with the pen. Yeah, right. Yeah, and I think that's what he's talking about. I took an L when my last uh, when I dropped my last album. It hurt me like hell, but I'm back on these rappers. Like everybody's talking shit about me saying I'm done. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Lucky you. Yeah, but I think at the same time too, right? Like he's probably. I mean, it could be double meaning there that he's saying like, "What the fuck happened to hip hop?" Too like people from his era could be saying like, "What the fuck's going on with hip hop? Like, why are you letting these new yeah little shits run all over you type thing, right?" Because he his uh, newest that album at the time, like before this one, wasn't as good in people's eyes, right? Yeah. So they're basically saying like, "Hip hop's going down the drain." Like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, yeah, no, just being upset, like what's going on? Yeah. I mean, and we need you. Like, come on, it's time Step up. time to come back and eat. And then. Uh, we're on the upswing like we're punching the ceiling so like when you're doing an uppercut right so we're yeah. upswinging we're punching the ceiling um having the momentum on the like way up. but like also i think that's saying that we're on the upswing we're punching the ceiling like saying that we're supposed to be lucky you we're supposed to be full. We're supposed to be done. We've hit our ceiling. No, guess what? We're about to punch right through the ceiling because we're that fucking sick. And we, we're not done. We're that fucking sick. We're not done yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so let's, let's run it back so we can get flow in there a bit. Winning. I wish I could say what a wonderful feeling We're on the upswing like we're punching the ceiling But nothing is feeling like anyone has any fucking ability To even stick to a subject is killing me The inability to be humility Hunter the mother the father We make a lot of fucking songs about nothing And mumble and bugging I'm going for the juggler Shit is a service you clowns that are coming up Don't give an answer for motherfucker About the ones who are here before you to make that Is recap, way back, and see that Okay, hold on, so let's see like It's I so... Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say he's just basically talking about what I was just saying, right? About that rap now is a bunch of mumble rap, and like people are just saying, "Oh, we can even understand what these people are saying." Yeah, like what I wanted to say was that, like, look at the bar scheme of this. Like, humble beginnings, uncomfortable winning, wonderful feeling, punching the ceiling, nothing is stilling, and then he goes into the next, um, next like uh, few bars there, and it's the same thing. Like, you look at his rhyme scheme. Um, let's move forward a bit. Um, it's killing me. Humility, bunch of fucking about nothing and mumble like uh, fuck it. I'm going for the job. Like he just like it's basically like it's like three words rhyme, three words rhyme, three words rhyme. Like he's just putting the sentences together while coordinating his rhyme scheme at the same time, which I think is often overlooked with Eminem that he's able to do these bars, have the punchlines, have the flow, the rhythm, the rhyme scheme. When you're missing all these rhymes that it takes to pen, like, put put it down. Yeah, I think, too, the duality in some of, like, the lines that he yeah. has, too, right? Like, some of them are, like, double meanings. Yeah, like, um, let's go back to this. Stealing, but nothing is stealing like anyone has any fucking ability to even stick to a subject is killing me. The inability to pin humility. Hunter the mother the mother. We make a lot of fucking songs about nothing and mumble and bugging. I'm going for the juggle. shit is a service. You clowns that are coming up. Don't give an answer for motherfucker about the points. What here before you to make that? Is recap. Way back. And tease that. Recap. Take decks, eight decks with a G back, two K decks. We need three stacks, ASAP, and bring that. The ace back is tap, but these rappers have brain damage. Like he just rap, he, like he just listed off like uh, Cool G rap, um, Big Daddy Kane, uh, Master Ace, ASAP, um, like in like, one, like a couple of bars, just yeah. blaming off legends. In the and then prior to saying that, like you guys are not paying homage. To all these people that came up before you, showing any respect to the people that laid the the whole foundation for your hip hop career, yeah. none of you are even acknowledging that these people exist, right? And then he goes through; it's a recap, way back MCs that recap and tape decks, a dads with the G raps and Kane's hats. We need three stacks ASAP and bring Master Ace back. Like that's like. Like, you don't even catch that he just said all that. Yeah, and, and he goes by so fast, you're like, wait, what? Like, and he's saying, like, all those real MCs, because those were MCs back in the day that had those ill lyrics that you, like, they penned and, and talked about stuff and poetry, but had the bars and, like, or punchline, you know, rappers from back in the day. And then, you know, even, like, in the beginning here, shit is a circus, you clowns. Like, <laughs> you know, what do you have at a circus? You got a bunch of clowns, right? Yeah. Um... 
and then it's a recap. So anyways, let's go back and just listen to how he flows through all that stuff and those rhymes like make rats recap. Boom. Like I love that. I love that too because like when he was saying, like, so he's like, since half of these rappers have brain damage, all the lean rap and face tat syruped out like tree sap. Like, <laughs> are you, Sipping lean all like, day. Syruped out like tree sap. Like, yeah. and a scissor, you know, like lean sipping all day. Like, that's a, that's a great that's a way to put era it. whole era of like rappers, right? Yeah. Like the lean, sipping on lean. Like that was a whole era of that people rapped with that and that's all they did all day. And then I love how he... He says, I don't hate trap, and I don't want to seem like I'm mad or bitter or anything, but or like I'm an old old head. But with me, like with Eminem saying that, as any of these rappers, if they're true MCs, listing all these other people that he named before him, before in the previous bars, if Eminem was coming at you, then you would respond and you would like you would take that and aim back. That's basically what he's saying. It's like you would take what Eminem is saying, yeah, and then you would use that as a fire to come back at Eminem and say like how are you gonna let I'm not gonna let this guy talk about me so disrespectful yeah. right and like you know I think somebody like not that he would come back at Eminem but at, like Lil Wayne for example would be somebody that's more new school that would like look at that and be like man this guy's going at us like we have to like come in with some bars and yeah. like you know where like I feel like these newer rappers don't yeah. really care so much like yeah whatever i'm making my money like i don't need to be lyrical whereas eminem like we said at the beginning is the crap it's not that come matters. from the rap battle days yeah exactly exactly <laughs> all right i want to just let it like ride a bit all right hold up fuck on bro okay going a mile a minute so like i couldn't even like i couldn't even process the bars like we've just been breaking down all these yeah. bars he was so fast that you're like wait slow down yeah and even that, hold like, on to mind <laughs> like i just said I, I wanted to let it ride like i just wanted to listen him to him rap for a second well, you almost can't do that and then i'm like so what the fuck did you just say bro you said something about so a he's run that back like six times <laughs> i only heard a set of and that was it <laughs> Let's let's run it back a bit, okay. All right, so luckily we have lyrics here to come back to. Yeah. Um, so he's basically saying that he so he's talking about like any things right so then he talks about popping a pill to end everything and if he's got to end it all then it's got to be between 70 300 milligrams 300 milligrams of acetaminophen that's what i okay so he's got on the brink in a minute got me thinking of finishing everything with acetaminophen then reaping the benefits i'm asleep at the wheel again as i peek into thinking about an evil intent off on another beat i'm gonna kill again because even if i gotta end up eating a pill again even ketamine or methamphetamine with the mini thin it better be at least so i think he's saying like put on a mini put it on a mini okay thin. here is he saying like he's asleep at the wheel again so he's basically having a dream about you know, like something evil intent there because he's basically having a peak while he's asleep at the wheel of an evil intent I don't, I don't, maybe, maybe. I think it's more of like, he's just so doped up on shit that he's like, because he's been popping pills that he, and then he's on the beat that he's going to kill again. 
because even if I got to end up eating a pill again, even can it's better to be at least 70 to 300 milligram. I might as well eat because I'm gonna end up being a villain, villain again. So I basically like I think he's just spitting some like heavy rhymes here, and then through it, he's basically saying that. You know, I'm going to be doped up and spit this shit and nobody's going to like it and everybody's going to think that they're going to hate me, so who cares? Like, I might as well be high as hell when I'm doing it. It could be that he's saying that, you know, he wants to be out of everything and just, like, take so many drugs that he, you know, slides out and passes out. But, I don't know. I, rhyme scheme, we know that's that's obviously pretty hard. 70 to 300 milligram and I might as well cause I'm gonna end up being a villain again I don't see this shit I got an elevator you could devastate me I'm not a fucking record breaker I sound like a broken record every time I break a record nobody could ever take away the legacy I made a never came a motherfucker never got out okay so levels to this ish I got an elevator cause you go up different levels to different floors on an elevator you could never say to me I'm not a record breaker I sound like a broken record every time I break a record so so he's saying he's a record breaker because it's a broken record how many times he breaks records meaning like his sales even rap god it's got how many words he can spit in a certain a time frame so he broke the guinness book of records with that yeah. right um and then he's saying you could never say to me i'm not a record breaker because I sound like a record. Because I do, do I do it so many times. Yeah, I break so many records. I'm a broken he record. Every record. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm a broken record. But how many times I break records, bro? Um, so clearly, you know, that's pretty heavy, heavy bar. That's pretty nasty. I, I'm glad we hit the lyrics that wouldn't have caught that. You, you said record breaker, broken record, break a record. <laughs> like, <laughs> You're and, like what? And still made it rhyme too. Record breaker, break a record. Like. Again, we got, um, I work, I work till the wheels fall off. I'm working tires, tirelessly. So, no tires when your wheels fall <laughs> off. <laughs> When the wheels fall off you have your tire you have tire you're tireless right um i feel like i'm probably not getting something because he said nobody could t ever take take away the legacy i made a navigator what like nobody could could ever take away the legacy i made a navigator a mother never got a right to be this way like i don't think that's the way it's supposed to anyways and then it says I got spite inside my DNA. So I I don't know if that's spike. It's supposed to be I got spikes inside my DNA. And then, but I worked the wheels fall off because I'm tireless. So like, almost like a spike punching a tire yeah, type thing. Yeah, air out of it. And a spike in a DNA. Because you know, like when you yeah. see the diagram of a DNA, that has got like spikes yeah, and stuff. Yeah, maybe that's just wrong lyrics. I got a spite inside my DNA. Maybe. Like I got spite, I got spite inside my DNA means like I'm like, a chip on my shoulder yeah, yeah right yeah. i work tirelessly, yeah. so that also makes sense but i'm trying to say i got sp maybe that's just i got spite inside well, maybe my he's DNA. also doing it so that like these relate but also these relate you know not all of it it's the same thing yeah let's just listen to it again <clears throat> With a mini, then it better be at least 70 or 300 milligram And I might as well, cause I'ma end up being a villain again Little see the shit, I got an elevator You could devastate to me, I'm not a fucking record breaker I sound like a broken record every time I break a record Nobody could ever take away the legacy I made mean, a never came, a motherfucker never got a right to be this way I got spikes inside my DNA But I wrote till the wheels fall off, I'm working tirelessly hey. It's the moment y'all been waiting for Like California was raining for And that drought y'all been praying for My downfall From the 8 mile to the south pass To the same marsh to that outlaw That they say is a right, I might have fell off I'm back on that bull like the cowboys Okay, so California has had droughts in the past, obviously wishing the rain would pour. Um, so he's, they're saying like, you wish that he would just stop raining on him, <laughs> raining on him, like King King's rain. Um, and my downfall from the eight mile to the South Paul, uh, still the same Marshall, that outlaw. Um, they that they say is a writer might have fell off but back on that bull like the cowboy so obviously you're if you're on your bullshit you're you know as you're riding the cow your cowboy rides bull right clearly that's not takes a whole lot to break down but i think 
the one thing you might miss is that he talked about still the same marshal, that outlaw, and an outlaw is a cowboy in the westerns, yeah. and that would be riding a bull. So, um, yeah, and he's like back on his shit because he's back on the bull. Yeah, yeah. So, but like, the, like he, when you're outlaw, you're on your you know cowboy shit. Um, yeah. So a few bars in there. Pause for the same marshal that outlaw that they say is a rider might have fell off or back on that bull like the cowboy. So y'all gotta move. Yeah. Okay. So that was Eminem. Lucky you. What did you think? I think it's good. I really like it. I like the mix of the kind of easier to digest um, joiner in the beginning, but still like a sick flow, very easy to listen to, smooth, and then prepares you a little bit for Eminem where you're like, fuck, bro. I got to listen to this like six times. <laughs> yeah, I think like it's it's pretty difficult to catch everything that Eminem says without lyrics in yeah, front of you. Like, 100%. You can do it, um, but it, it is difficult and it's tough. And like I said, I've heard the song before. There was a few things in there that I you know, didn't oh, pick up sure. the 100%. first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like the song overall. Yeah. I, honestly, like I really like Joyner's bars in there. Like yeah. I feel like his Same. flow and just putting it on the track and just listening to it for a workout or something is cool. Um, Eminem's, it's like you need to really break it down and listen to it. But it's also Eminem's rhymes, I would say. Like there's a lot of punches in there. There's a lot of sick flows. He goes off the fucking charts with his, his uh, rhyme scheme and the way he's riding the beat. But... I also don't think, unless again, I'm missing some bars in there, I don't think it was like the most detailed where he was saying, you know, he, sometimes with Eminem is that he'll, he'll make a whole pattern in terms of, he's talking about one thing that trails through his entire verse, basically, yeah. right? Yeah, and I like, didn't catch that on I this. don't, like, I think it was just, he was just spitting out bars and like, yeah, it all related to I him mean, being hungry in I some think, extent. It, yeah, and it also had a relation, I think, of him being like, hey, like, I'm back, like, I'm ready to kill it because of his previous album not doing as well. Like, I feel like from the beginning to the end, he was talking about people essentially, like, yeah. not being impressed with his last album. So, like, he was basically like, I'm fucking here, like, I'm back. Like, his that was kind of a common theme through yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, I think that's a common theme of that whole Kamikaze album yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, for sure. But I was just more referring to, like, the scheme, like, because Eminem liked to scheme on, like, guns or like a circus yes. or like yeah. you know the whole like rhyme scheme will be you yeah. know like all put together and i think this was kind of just all over the place just like yo i got bars i got flow i can kill this shit listen <laughs> and that's what he did right yeah, so i like sure. the track yeah me too. Uh, i would definitely you know say this is in my rotation um and i enjoyed just kind of looking at the lyrics and seeing and yeah, breaking more it detail. down a little bit more yeah yeah all right guys so i hope you enjoyed our video thanks for watching yes and uh you know we love reacting to videos because we love music so we hope you guys tune in and watch some more um i was hoping our, our cat here was going to make a little appearance oh she's got an appearance <laughs> all right guys so i hope you loved it uh peace out from me phil here's sam <laughs> tiffany catch you guys later